Hello and welcome back to the Sticker Doodle Knits YouTube channel. I'm so excited to have you here. I am Jessica, the knitting pattern designer behind Snicker Doodle Knits and the design coach behind Pattern Design Circle. I'm so excited to be here chatting with you about the In A Mood scarf. This is my most recent pattern release and so I'll just be given a bit of the information here. Um, if you're not familiar with the In A Mood series, the In A Mood collection includes the In A Mood cowl, the In A Mood scarf, and the In A Mood shop. This is the last of the patterns to be released. So all of the patterns are now available. You can purchase the Inamood collection uh, to get 15% off all three patterns if you're interested in all three of them. The concept behind the Inamood collection is to combat the ever-growing pile of whips, which whips are works in progress inside of the knitting world. Um, to combat that growing pile of projects that you've fallen out of love in, with. So you, with the In A Mood collection, you work your project according to the mood that you're in. It's not a matter of fitting into somebody else's idea. Uh, the In A Mood collection, all three patterns include four stitch motifs um, that you get to choose when you use, if you use them, how long you use them, you get to choose which yarn weight you're going to work the project out of, and you get to choose how big your project is. So I include multiple sizes within the patterns, but I, I give you information on how to adjust the size if you'd like. For the scarf specifically, it is actually only written in one size, um, but you can, you can change the size just with a f addition of or subtraction of four stitches, and you can do that as many times to, to adjust the size as you'd like. So my, the sizes that I, that, that, I was talking about circumference, I apologize. Um, it only includes one circumference. It includes three sizes lengthwise, but that is completely customizable. So I worked what I recommend as the large size, which has three loops when you wrap it up around your neck. Um, the medium size, I recommend two loops, and the small size, I recommend one loop. Um, the, this sample is knit up in DK weight. I give information in the pattern for fingering weight and DK weight for the amount of yarn I recommend and the gauge that I recommend and needle size that I recommend. However, you're more, more than welcome to use any yarn weight you would like. I include in the pattern a yarn equivalencies table. So if you have a bunch of scraps that you'd like to throw together and you don't know what yarn weight it is, say you want to use fingering and sport for one section, and then you need to figure out what the equivalent would be for the next section. I have that chart inside of, or that list inside of the pattern to make it easy to find. So it's easy to use your scraps. Um, and then I, so you're, concept is to follow your mood, to use the stitches whenever, however you would like. Um, but I also include in the pattern nine different recommendations for, for different recipes you might follow if you aren't feeling like following your mood. Um, and so, so that's just different combinations of the stitches to create something beautiful. For my sample here, I, I think I started with the simple, I either start with the simple lace or the garter. Um, I might have started with the garter rib. So I, I just did each of my loops as a different texture um, and a different color. I did not start with a section. I started with the lace because um, I started with a blue section. And so this is all hand dyed diva yarn, DK weight. Um, I do not remember the colors off the top of my head, um, but that information is on the pattern page. So I just worked simple lace for one section with garter on the ends, and then I worked a little bit of garter, did the garter rib inside out, and then I did different variations of drop stitches, garter strips, and uh, stockinette. So that, that was my, my choice, but I think you would really enjoy looking at all of the different projects um, to, see, to see how you, different and unique it can be, because most folks 
did not have not chosen to to keep them so definitely separate. Uh, a lot of folks like to mix them up. For example, this is my cowl sample and they aren't like, it's not just like chunks of stitches, chunks, chunks of texture. I've, I've mixed them out throughout. So um, yes, the pattern includes instructions for, for all of that. You can also reference the other projects that other folks have made for inspiration and I have I have a blog post with yarmy color recommendations if, if you're looking for a little bit of inspiration with a couple of multicolor multi, like two color combinations and single color combinations um, but of course you're always welcome to work from your stash as well and I think I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, for more information, you can visit my website. I'll have it linked down below. That includes a few of the stories around the, the pattern as well as the links to purchase. It's available on Ravelry, Lovecrafts, pay, uh, Etsy, and my website. Um, so you can just click, click my website link down below to get all of the information, including yarn requirements and stuff like that. So I hope you're super excited about the Inamood scarf. Again, if you'd like all three patterns, Inamood shawl, Inamood cowl, and Inamood scarf, they are 15% off within the Inamood collection. So happy knitting.